Hi there guys, my name is Marty Zoffinger and I'm an avid kayak fisherman and perhaps you've seen me in some of my other videos where I'm on kayaks that have been heavily modified and this video is for people who are thinking about buying a kayak. For people specifically who think, you know, maybe that uh, it's too much, it's too much work and uh, they're not that handy, they don't have a lot of tools. Well. I'm here to tell you that as long as you have a place to keep a kayak, you can go out there and you can fish from a kayak pretty simply, very easily. And today, um, to give you an example, I'm on an Ellie kayak. This is a Coast 120 XE. And you can see from that little fish symbol right there that this is a kayak meant for fishing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make absolutely no modifications to this kayak. These flush mount rod holders right here, those came with the kayak. Same with the hatch and the paddle holder. This rod holder right here up front, all of that is standard equipment when you buy this kayak. Even the bait well here, this is something I bought at a store. I didn't make this myself. You can tie this with a little piece of uh, paracord behind your kayak, troll it behind you, and it'll keep your uh, bait alive. Today I've got some shrimp in there. So that's it, I'm gonna use live bait. I've got in the back in this giant tank well, I've got my little tackle box. And I used a uh, barbell with some rope. That's my anchor. And I wanna go out there and see if, with a minimal amount of stuff, like a pair of pliers, maybe a little uh, boomerang tool for cutting my line, I wanna see if I can go out with this bare bones kayak and catch a fish without making any uh, heavy modifications, let's see if we can do it. Well, the first thing I looked for when I paddled out was some structure. These massive pieces of concrete should qualify. I was pretty sure I was going to find some fish hanging around here. And that was right. Oh, hey! These snook are really powerful fish. And they can be a lot of fun to catch. Even the small ones. Then we moved down just a little ways. And it was kind of windy, so we just crawled up onto the structure. And from here, I caught myself a bigger fish. Jacks are some of the hardest fighting fish that I catch on a regular basis. The wonderful thing about having a kayak is that you can just move on and explore new spots whenever you feel like it. Pull up onto a beach, look for shells or places to camp out, or you can paddle out to the water, whichever direction you want pretty much. Any place you find out there that's covered in barnacles tends to be a really good place to fish. Those little snapper are tasty, tasty. <laughs> Could be a trout. I, th I think it is. Or a ladyfish. <laughs> oh, I'll never know.
<laughs> Those sandbars you find out in the open are a lot of fun to fish, but with a kayak, you can get way up into the trees too. And I mean really way up in the trees. You really can find some magical spots when you're paddling a kayak. Back here in the open, I wanted to see what all the birds were fussing about. Turns out they were feeding on little tiny fish, and the tide was really, really low. I tried fishing this spot. But it didn't work out for me that well. Again, when you got yourself a yak, no big deal. I just tied it to my waist and pulled it behind me until I found myself a different spot. It's always a good idea to do the stingray shuffle. When you step on a stingray, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So you just kind of like drag your feet along through the mud. It's a great way to get through those skinny areas though. Here I found myself a nice little deep hole to fish. And once again it wasn't long before I was hooked up. Those redfish are pretty awesome. My buddy and I had thrown a cast net and got ourselves a bunch of little pilchards. Look at this guy fly. Those little fish are the candy of the bay. Or is that greenbacks? I'm not sure. Either way, fish love them. This time I hooked myself another little snook. Tasty fish, but this guy was a little too small.
Gotta love kayak fishing. Well, there you go, folks. Proof positive that you don't have to heavily modify a kayak to go out there in the water and have a good time. Thank you.